Hi, Pudge here with a tutorial on how to put live split on your uh, stream and without making it look like shit. So it's not going to be a green or blue or, or brown live split. It's going to be the normal, just dark, the one you get when you install it from the start. So you don't really have to mess with it too much. And this is what it look, looks like right now. You can see it's just normal looking except for the split names, perhaps. Anyways, in your OBS, you head under sources and you add a window capture. We're going to call it live split one, two, three. Then you see here, you got it all. Make sure the window is live split. Press OK. So I'm going to move it over here, make it a little bit bigger. And you can see uh, this is the live split. And this is what it's look, looking like uh, captured right now. So we're going to unlock it and then right click the uh, window capture and hit up filters. Then you hit the plus sign to the left and you go for color key. And on this one, you, there's gonna be the key color type. You're gonna switch that to custom and under that there's gonna be the key color. You can hit select color, pick screen color and click anywhere on the live split. You hit okay. And then you can drag the similarity around and you see that way you get more or less of the stuff. I like to do so I have the line here because then that separates the scrolling list from the final split. I think that's a pretty nice look. And you can see over here. Now I got a bad background. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. Like you can see, oh, that <laughs> doesn't work. But like you can see, you can now see the uh, transparent light split. Uh, it's looking all right. As you can see, it's not really getting messed up or anything. Uh, really is just that. So I hope this will help you. Thanks for watching.